Okay, I'm back here, ladies and gentlemen, here for binder number 15, and this should be the... So we are live here for binder number 15. It is Sunday, July 30th, 2023, and then we are finally done here with this binder collection. All right. We open up binder number 15 here with... Um, we just let us off with the Young Stallions. We open up here with Zach Gowan. He signed it right there. He was a wrestler who wrestled on one leg, so very tough to do here, so... Really challenging thing for this handicap man, and he actually wrestled on one leg, did moonsaults. He was there around 2003. Got to give credit here to the great Zach Gowan. All right, moving along, we have Wu Wu, everyone's favorite Long Island wrestler, Zach Ryder. So there he is signing as Zach Ryder. Loves collecting old school wrestling figures and old school wrestling. Loves Disney. Um, either Mario or his girlfriend is Chelsea Green. So there he is Zach Gowan. I mean, Zack Ryder. I'm sorry, Zack Ryder. He's even got an internet championship fake belt. What a joke. Zack Ryder. Trying to get himself over. All right, next we have a dual sign one. It's Zeb Coulter, who was also known as um, Dutch Mantel. So we signed a Zeb there, Zeb Coulter. And Jack Swagger, who was later known as Jack Haggerty. So there's Jack Swagger here, decent, solid Oklahoma wrestler, along with Zeb Coulter, the manager. And they are in the ring on an episode of Raw. So again, Swagger over here, Zeb over there, and a nice dual sign photo of Zeb Coulter and Jack Swagger. Next is a modern um, diva wrestler. Her name is Zelina Vega, signed over here, clear. This is a JSA certed photo, making it real. So there she is, Zelina Vega. And then the back, as you can see, the JSA cert. Next, we have a PSA cert one. I met this man, and... Um, so you see PSA making it real. This is Tiny Leister. It was in the movies. No Holds Barred. Feuded with Hogan as Rip. He's known as Zeus. So he wrote Tiny Lister, Zeus. A nice cool on there of the No Holds Barred movie. Again, PSA certain. There's the PSA cert on the back. Next we have another one of Zeus. Um, he's with DiBiase in the photo, but it's only signed here by Zeus. Boy, is this thing. Okay, so there it is as Zeus right here. Tiny Leaster Zeus, DiBiase in the photo. But only signed here as Zeus. They were partners at the 1989 Survivor Series. I know Zeus also helped them in a Saturday Night Event match in October 89 against Hogan. So the big monster, human recognition, Zeus. And here's a third one. Two guys who are deceased and two legends. So again, Tiny Leaster Zeus. And Mean Gene Oakland. So Mean Gene conducting a podium interview here with Zeus. And there they are together. So Zeus signed it in a nice blue paint pen. Gene in a nice gray one. Very awesome photo of the two together. Zeus and Mean Gene. Next is Brutus Beefcake as the Zodiac. You see it right there. He signed as the Zodiac. So nice one there in the black and white of another Ed Leslie Brutus Beefcake gimmick as the Zodiac. Yes. No. All right, that basically concludes the A to Z thing. These are just some random other things we're going to see now. These are smaller photos. So we have Rhino over here. We have Al Snow over there. Greg the Hammer Valentine over there. And Christian over here. So again, the four smaller photos. So Rhino, Al Snow, Greg Valentine, and Christian. Here's more of those smaller photos. We have Nunzio from the FBI. We have Little Nate, Charles Robinson. I don't even have any bigger photos of him, so there's a small one. This is the guy, he was like a referee. He looked like Ric Flair called Little Nate. His name's Charles Robinson, signed there in red. We have the coach, Jonathan Coachman, and Tony Chimmel, the legendary ring announcer over here. So again, another four small ones, Nunzio, uh, Little Nate, Charles Robinson, the coach, and Tony Chimmel. So there's the four of them. All right, next is a nice, um, I guess, WWF-type photo of a bunch of legends signed by a whole bunch of guys. We have one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight. I think nine guys in this photo sign it. We'll go through them. We have Brian Nobbs of the Nasty Boys. We have Jake the Snake Roberts in silver. Ted DiBiase in the green. The Undertaker here in silver. Virgil down here in silver. Vince McMahon right here in silver. See Vince McMahon right here? Um, Road Warrior Animal here in silver. Jerry Sags of the Nasty Boys here in blue. And the Mouth of the South, Jimmy Hart, 2005 here in the bottom. So everybody in the picture signed except for Paul Bear, the boss man, 
Earthquake, and Hawk. Everybody else signed it. So we have nine signatures. Again, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, nine. So again, we have the Nasty Boys, Knobs, and Sags. They signed in blue. Jake on top. DiBiase on top. Undertaker there on top. Vince by his tie, you see. Virgil by his muscle arms. Jimmy Hart there on the bottom. And Road Warrior Animal um, in the silver by his like face and shoulder pads. So again, nine guys signed this one. A pretty cool photo. This was probably taken in 1991 based on the roster, I would say. A 1991 photo signed by nine guys. All right, this is an Eric Sims special. I guess some people he toured with or whatever. So we have Ron Simmons over here. Disco Inferno here. The Patriot there. Buff Bagwell over here. And Hacksaw Butchery down there in the bottom. And Two Cold Scorpio there. So you have Doom, Bagwell and the Patriot, and Two Cold Scorpio, and Disco Inferno. So a nice um, six-time signature thing. So again, you have Simmons, Disco, Patriot, Buff Bagwell, Butch Reed, and Two Cold Scorpio. All six guys in the photo. Sign this one. Next, we have a WWF match sheet from 1991. But for some reason, Head Shrinker Samu added his name to it, too. So he's from 93. It says Road Warrior Animal here, Hulk Hogan there in the top in the middle, Marty Jannetty here in the silver. There's Samu for some reason, Samu Head Shrinker, WF93. I don't know why he added his name to it, but he did. Shawn Michaels, HBK in the black, Tugboat down here, Tugboat WWF, Jake the Snake Roberts here in the uh, gold color, and Brett the Hitman Hart over here in the blue. So in all, we have one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. I think this one is eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two. Just count again. All right, so we have at, let's count one by one. So we have Animal one, Hogan two, Janetti three, Samu four, Michaels five, Tugboat six, Jake seven, and Brett number eight. Yep, so we have eight guys that signed this WWF match sheet here from 1991. Looks very cool. Next, we have a nice Survivor Series 87 program. This is signed by like a whole bunch of guys, so let's go through it slowly. We have King Kong Bundy on top. This is like a program. Acts of Demolition, Smash of Demolition. Um, who's this? Mean Gene over there. Bobby Heenan in the blue. Brett the Hitman Heart in silver. Jim the Anvil Nightheart in this like silver bluish color. Honky Tonk Man over there. This is Howard Finkel over here, like this thing on the side. That's Howard Finkel. Brutus Beefcake. I met B. Brian Blair in person. He added his name to it. There's Haku. There's Jimmy Hart, the Mouth of the South. There's Ricky the Dragon Steamboat in blue. Tito Santana I also met in person, so he added to it. And we talked about Brett's so already. So we have one, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, four. I think you have like fifteen guys on this thing, so a whole bunch. Again, Bundy is one. Demolition Action Smash two and three. Mean Gene four. Heenan five. Hard Foundation Brett and Anvil six and seven. Tito eight. Honky nine. Jimmy ten. Steamboat eleven. Haku twelve. Beefcake thirteen. Blair fourteen. And Finkel fifteen. So we have like fifteen guys on this nice Survivor Series eighty seven program. All right. Um, next we have. Let's see. Um, this is a fan festing mid Atlantic wrestling, I guess. So we have Ivan Koloff there on top. We have James J. Dillon over here on the side. Tully Blanchard there on the side. Coco Beware on the bottom. This guy named Mark Anthony, I don't know who he is. He signed it over there. And Harley Race over here. So that's signed by one, two, three, four, five, six. This is signed by seven guys. A pretty cool tour of a 2006 Star K Legends tour. So again, Ivan Koloff, James J. Dillon, Tully Blanchard, Coco Beware, Mark Anthony, Harley Race. And just looks really nice though. Signed by one, two, three, four, five, or six guys. So a nice one there of this um, tour thing. And there's the back of that. All right, next is the Hall of Fame WWE match. I already bought it, signed by Tito, Tony Atlas, Coco, and Bushwhacker Luke. I met Jim Ross in person, so he added to it. You know, Jim Ross, WWE Hall of Fame 07. So nice uh, Hall of Fame sheet. This is a WWF match sheet from, like, 1998. 
So these are hard to find. This has got some good rare signatures on it too. So let's go through them. We have Kama, Ken Shamrock, God bless, he wrote. Um, too Sexy, Brian Christopher, Road Dog of DX, Scott, Too Hot Taylor, um, Legion of Doom, Animal. All right, this is Legion of Doom, Animal. I think this is, who's this up here? I can't tell. Okay. We have Puke. So that's when Draws was known as Puke. Um, this might be Howard Finkel on top here. Howard Finkel, I'm guessing. Hard to tell. D'Lo Brown, WWF 98. Badass Billy Gunn. Tennessee Lee. So that was the manager of um, Double J, you know. We have, oh, Earl Hebner I missed. Earl Hebner. We said Tennessee Lee. Owen Hart, very hard graph to get. Jeff Jarrett, Tony Gurria, okay. And you know, I'm trying to wonder if this is Howard Finkel, Hawk, who could this be? I don't know. Like I said, this is Animal down there, though. It's D-Lo Puke. So this is a pretty cool, though. It's a WWF Attitude Era match. I'm guessing this is from 98, based on who signed it. Very nice, cool one there. And some rare ones, too. Like you said, you got Owen Hart on there. You got... Uh, draws is puke. You got LOD, so you got some Tennessee Lee, some some pretty big names here on this thing. All right, this is from um, WrestleMania 16. Some guy attended like their access thing back then. It's got like photo proof of all the people he met. So this match, he's got Road Dog DX, Tori, and X Pac, and you know there's a bunch of photos in here. I don't want to go through them all, but there's the signatures though: Road Dog, Tori, and X Pac. There's some more of the photos from the signing, whatever. And he signed. There's D'Lo Brown. There's the Godfather. And there's D'Lo and Godfather in the pictures. There's another one, D'Lo and the Godfather. I signed two of them, I guess. Here's another one. Nobody signed this page though. All right, we have the um, members of the Mean Street Posse. So we have Pete Gas up there, Rodney, and Joey Abs. So all three members of the Mean Street Posse signed this page. And there's some of the photos of them there, and this page wasn't signed at all. This page is signed. We got Bubba Ray Dudley, Devon Dudley. So the Dudley boys signed this page. Again, Bubba Ray and Devon. And there's Big Viscera, and there's his big signature down there. So we don't have a Viscera 8x10. We got a nice big um, sheet here. Steven Richards signed up there, and there's some of the photos from this one. So this page just signed by Steven Richards. Bob Backlund signed over there. There's Bob meeting the fan who got this thing there. Bob Backlund. There's some more photos of Backlund with this fan. We have Bruce Pritchard, Brother Love. So he signed there as Brother Love. Nice one there. Get this all from WrestleMania 2000, WrestleMania 16. Sergeant Slaughter. Nice big signature there with the smiley face of the big drill sergeant. Sergeant Slaughter. Here's another page. Nobody signed that one. All right, this one we got Pat Patterson, Gerald Briscoe, Tony Gurria, and the late great Black Jack Lanza over here. So again, Pat Patterson, who's deceased, Gerald Briscoe, Tony Gurria, and Black Jack Lanza. We'll take a look at his graph again. Don't see too many of him out there. It's a nice one there from WrestleMania 16. And there's the photos of all those guys that he met. Okay. Next, this is a high school event. This is from my local high school, Riverdale High School. I was in sixth grade at the time. This is from April 99. You see, like, this program. It's got like, all these indie wrestlers and Jimmy Snuka. And then the back here, here's Jimmy Snuka's signature right here. And these are just a bunch of these random um, indie... Is that Steve Carino, though? Let me look at the program. Uh... Gino Carusco, Larry Brisco. Yeah, I don't know if any of these guys are any big. Okay, so we have a bunch of signatures though from this indie show i don't think any of these guys really got to be big but there they are along with jimmy snooker right here this this signature right here jimmy snooker all right this is not this is just like a pre-print thing like from the wbf fan club i thought it was pretty cool so i got it so it's just you know pictures with pre-printed signatures of warrior legion of doom bret hart the bushwhackers crush undertaker bulldog the tonka randy savage these aren't real authentic autographs. These are just things from the WWF fan club, and they send you a catalog with the collage. This is from 92. 
Um, Brian Blair gave this to me. Some indie show he did in September of 95. He signed it by himself where it says, Be Brian Blair. He's facing Jim Neidhart. So pretty cool um, little program page. Here's another one of those WWF like event lineups. This is from a September 91 show in Poughkeepsie, New York. So we have on top, Coco Beware. Um, over here we have the Big Boss Man. Not many Boss Man are That's a nice clear signature of the Big Boss Man. The Mountie. Greg Valentine. Paul Roma. Typhoon and Silver. Marty Jannetty. Jim the Anvil Nightheart. Um, Jimmy Snuka. IRS. And The Barbarian. So a nice one, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I think eleven guys in all signed this again. So you have Coco, the Boss Man, the Mountie, Valentine, Roma, Typhoon, Janetti, um, Snooka, IRS, the Barbarian, and I forget if I said the Anvil or not, but there you go again. All eleven names on this cool 1991 WWF event lineup card. This is something that Brian Blair gave me from. Um, they have this thing called the Cauliflower Alley Club. They honor wrestlers and legends. This is from February of 2014. So we see Bob Cook. Uh, looks like Ruth something. Something Miller. Manny Miller. I don't, I don't really know these guys that well. So you know, Manny Miller or Bob something. Ron Bass signed this one. Uh, Hector Guerrero. No idea who this is. B. Brian Blair, Killer B, yep. Uh, Ron something. Let's see. Dottie Carter. So I don't I don't know who all these names are, but we got some definite rare names, though, on this thing. This is from Brian Blair at the um, Cauliflower Alley Club from 2014. There's the back of this thing. All right, this is one of the um, WWF. Uh, sheets of like a show from the LA Sports Arena, March of 88. No autographs or anything like that, just whoever won and what happened. So this is this card. And we have another one here from October 90. Again, just winners and losers and see crossing out of like changing the matches and stuff. So pretty cool. Um, next we have a bunch of index cards and then I put the picture of the guy in the back so we know who they are. So this is Paul Bear from 2000. Kurt Henning, Mr. Perfect, um, Fabulous Moolah, respectfully Fabulous Moolah, and The Great May Young. And you see on the back, I kind of put their pictures in case I ever forget who someone is. All right, we have Love Lita. We have Freddie Blassie from 96. We have Captain Lou Albano. And we have, is this Jake the Snake Roberts? Yep, Jake the Snake Roberts. So there's the four of those ones. There's the pictures on the back. All right, we have Ric Flair, we have Brett the Hitman Hart, we have Stone Cold Steve Austin, and we have Saba Simba and Tony Atlas, dual sign there. So pretty cool in there, those four graphs. And again, I put the pictures on the back. All right, next we have Ricky Steamboat the Dragon. We have Jimmy Snuka taking care of business. We have Bobby Heenan and Best in Sport Harley Race, Hall of Famer 1994. So Harley Race was, in, I guess, in the... NWA Hall of Fame at the time. And there's some pictures on the back of the guys. Okay. We have Sting. We have Trish Stratus. Bruno San Martino and Bill Goldberg. So in the back again I put them. So there's Bruno, Trish, Sting. And Goldberg actually got him to sign this bookmark as well. I mailed it to him. He signed it for me. Here we have Brutus Beefcake. Killer Kowalski. It's a tough one to get. Rena Merrow who's also Sable. And Chris Chavis Tatanka, who signed a real name and Tatanka. So there's the four of them combined. And in the back again, you see the pictures of the guys that signed them. Hacksaw Jim Duggan, Nikolai Volkov, the King Jerry Lawler, and Ivan Putsky. So nice four signatures there. There's these nice index cards. Next we have B. Brian Blair of the Killer Bees. Ted DiBiase with a biblical inscription. Jumping Jim Brenzel, best wishes Jumping Jim Brenzel, from the one and only The Warlord. And there's the four of those ones combined. And then again, you see the pictures on the back of each one. Uh, Ivan Koloff, best wishes Ivan Koloff, Cowboy Bob Orton, um, Booker T, Raising the Roof, Booker T, Diamond Dallas Page. So there's the four of those ones together. And you see the pictures of each individual guy. Um, Missy Hyatt, 
Nick Bockwinkle since passed away, Tolly Blanchard with his biblical inscription, and Mike Rotunda, IRS, WWF. So there's the four of those ones together. And there's the pictures in the back as we talked about. Um, a Honky Tonk Man, Al Snow and Head, WWF 1999, Jerry Briscoe, and thanks for remembering Lanny Puffo, the genius. So there's the four of those ones together. And again, the pictures on the back. All right, next we have Chris Jericho, Y2J. The American Dream, Dusty Rhodes is a valuable one. Davy Boy Smith, the British Bulldog. And, of course, Bill Alfonso on an ECW um, May 98, like, ticket kind of stub thing. And the back, we have some more ones. We have Jason from ECW. We have uh, Supernova. Um, we have some other name I can't read. We have Axel Rotten. So there's some cool ones there. Bulldog, Dusty, Jericho. Uh, Kurt Angle, Mickey James, Seth Rollins, Jim Ross. So there we go. Four nice signatures on the index cards. There they are. Each individual one. Uh, Jimmy Hart, Eric Bischoff, WCW 93. Axe and Smash and Demolition. That's me in the middle. And Bill Alfonso on a March 98 ECW type show. So there's a close-up of those four again. And again, same thing. I put the picture on the back when you want to know who somebody is. Um, this came from Bullet Bob Armstrong, so he'll see some signatures in the back in a minute. Tommy Dreamer signed my ticket stub from an indie show I attended in um, no, December of 2016. And there we go. We have Steve Armstrong here. Sign that one over there. Bullet Bob Armstrong signed this one. And Bullet Bob Armstrong also signed that one. These are some cool, like, photos of fans. This is um, the only Andre the Giant autograph I have. I don't have an 8x10 of him, but it's at least some kind of photo, though. So it's like a Polaroid-type photo he signed later. There he's in the ring, signed Andre the Giant. This is Bruno San Martino. Bob Backlin. And this one is... Um, yeah, Linda Miles, who also played Shaniqua. So it says Linda Miles, Shaniqua on an index card. So again, Andre and Bruno, Bob Backlin, and Linda Miles as Shaniqua. And there's the four of those ones together. And there's a picture of Shaniqua. And this is the end of it. We have Paisley, who was in WCW. Aldo Montoya, the Portuguese man of war. Um, is that Kelly Kelly? Yep, Kelly Kelly. And a rare WCW wrestler named Bobby Blaze. So there's the four of those together. And there in the back you see Kelly Kelly, Aldo, Bobby Blaze, and um, Paisley, of course. And that wraps up the 15 binders. I actually am getting a high voltage photo in the mail, so I'll probably come back in about a week show you guys that. And we'll look at some other memorabilia in August as well. Have a good one, everybody, and enjoy your Sunday. Bye.